Skyrim is home to many different types and variations of magic, ranging from destructive damage spells to alterative healing charms, many of which are used frequently throughout your playthroughs. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a very particular mod author who, for me, has transformed Skyrim's world of magic into something seriously special, and has created an entire new version of sorcery. Their name is Dereni. With all of their mods combined, we're looking at over 250 all new and unique spells of all different styles, varying from eruptive volcano molten magic to galaxy and star inspired incantations. And there are so many new spells and possibilities that this is just part one of two of this double episode special. So stay tuned for another video in the coming days. I choose this as our goal. Creatures of Nerd. All men are kings. If he breathes, he is sick. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Your sons are not room, all right? <laughs> I'd like to give a massive thanks to Bloodline Heroes of Lithos for sponsoring this video. Download and try the game for free using my link or scan the QR code and receive an amazing starter pack worth $20. Bloodline is a hero collector fantasy RPG game with visually stunning 3D realistic graphics, simple controls with interesting scenes and intriguing storylines. Get creative characters with unique abilities and sleek designs for both genders. Check out the new nine-tailed Vulpins from a mysterious and dangerous eastern land. Known for their massive mastery in illusions and spiritual magic that can deceive and weaken their opponents. Merging two bloodlines can create a thousand plus unique fantasy hybrids. Download Bloodline for free now on both Android and iOS using the link in the description or by scanning the QR code on screen to get a special starter pack worth $20 which includes one summoning crystal, 100,000 gold and 100 diamonds. And the first 30 players to leave their in-game account ID and username in the pinned comment section below will receive a free legendary female nine-tailed champion. Again, massive thanks to Bloodline for supporting the channel, but without further ado, let's get into the video. The first mod we'll be taking a look at is Volcano. This spell pack forms together a combination of Molten Lava and Ash, which is mainly destruction based. However, it also includes a couple of alteration and conjuration spells for good measure. First up, we have Molten Earth, which forms a giant spinning disc of lava energy just above head height, damaging anyone or anything that would dare to step foot within its radius. This spell is ideal for hordes, or if you're being attacked by multiple enemies at once. Next is Molten Core. This creates a projectile ball of molten lava, which explodes on impact, hurting anything within the radius. If you're in the need for assistance, maybe it's a good time to use a conjuration spell. Conjure Molten Atronach allows you to spawn a lava smothered follower for 60 seconds, who will attack any enemies in the vicinity. If you're being pushed back and need to gather some time to reassess the situation, Molten Warm can be your friend. This spell creates a molten barrier between you and your enemy, sparing you some much needed time in many situations. Anything that crosses the wall of lava will take damage, most likely resulting in burning to death. The last spell we'll be showcasing from Volcano is Molten Lava Detonation. This is a seriously powerful spell of the highest level and can kill multiple enemies at once with a large explosion of molten energy. It has a large blast radius and anyone within it will surely suffer the consequences. I think this is a really fun mod to use as it brings all the elements of volcanic power within the palm of your character's hands. A very destructive base spell pack capable of dominating much of Skyrim. The second mod we'll be showcasing is Desecration, which is focused around the spirits of the dead. When one of your spells from the Desecration pack kills an enemy, a spirit will emerge from its corpse to fight alongside you for 60 seconds. The first spell we'll be inspecting is Necrotic Firebolt. This ball of fire will explode on impact, similar to the vanilla fireball. The conjuration spell for Desecration is Conjure Necrotic Flame Atronach, a body built of necrotic flames, which is summoned as your servant for 60 seconds, protecting and guarding your every move. This creature is sure to fulfill its duty in keeping you alive. Up next is Necrotic Devastation. Similar to Necrotic Fireball, this spell explodes upon collision, however on a much larger scale. This of course means that more damage is dealt and is a higher ranked spell within the Desecration mod pack. Additionally, Necrotic Flame Tempest is an almost flamethrower-like spell, shooting waves of luminous green fire towards your foes. These flames can cover many enemies, melting the flesh from their bones, unless they're a skeletal dragon with no flesh of course. 
but you get the idea. Finally, we'll take a look at Necrotic Firestorm. This tempest of undead flames will engulf a large surrounding area, completely obliterating anything in its path. A high level is required to use this spell, but it's well worth it. I really enjoyed this mod because of the necrotic spirits reminding me of the army of the dead from Lord of the Rings, and the thought of having an army of my own undead spirits is nostalgic and just kind of awesome, let's be honest. Next on the list is Lunaris. From the word Luna, I'm sure many of you have guessed that this spell pack is based on the power of the moon. All the spells associated with Lunaris only work on the undead, so don't be surprised if you cast a spell at a living character and they resist it. All Lunar Restoration spells slow the undead by 50%, giving you time to prepare for what's coming. The initial spell we'll be exploring is called Luminous Moonbeam. This shimmering, continuous ray of moonlight is long in range and can block paths if needed to create an almost barrier-like fortification. Anything that crosses it will take significant damage, resulting in their demise. Here we have an interesting spell called Luminous Moonbeam Rune. The incantation creates a runic moon pattern on surfaces, exploding into a blaze of blue light if anything should touch it, causing many destroyed undead. Lunar Bolt, on the other hand, is a projection on mini missile of moonlight, detonating upon contact. This spell is good for a quick fire situation on singular targets if you're being pressured. Following up is Lunar Aura, which is a charm that creates a circular barrier surrounding your character. It slows enemies and prevents them from easily getting into close combat with you. I guess it's almost like a projectile ring with a moonlight damage output burning the undead from the inside out. Lastly is Lunar Singularity, a spell which is the grandest of the Lunaris spell pack a giant pulse of moon energy, frequently demolishing any undead that dare to attack. This charm is a mass horde exterminator and is sure to do the job. However, fittingly, it is a master spell. Overall, a very handy mod, especially if you're exploring ancient Nordic burial tombs or ruins which will make the spells come into great effect. Following on from Lunaris, we have Necrom. This mod is based strongly around the realm of Apocrypha, and the spells also reflect this region. Whilst armed with the Necrom spell, you'll see miniature tentacles protruding from the palm of your character's hands, resembling Hermaeus Mora himself. Each of the restoration spells deal poison damage and slow enemies by 25%. However, there are also many alteration spells to explore within the Necrom mod. Eldritch Weave is a spell which spawns a black book in front of your character and creates an aura of green magic around you. This spell in particular buffs your weapon damage damage and also increases destruction and restoration damage. This is one of the many alteration spells this mod has to offer. Next is Eldritch Bolt, in other words a charged fist full of small tentacles, flung at nearby foes dealing poison damage. Each time the bolt makes contact with an enemy, tentacles will spawn from their body inflicting prolonged pain before imminent death. Furthermore, Eldritch Tentacles are a continuous whip-like monstrosity that surrounds your victims in a poisonous frenzy, trapping their escape a torturous spell causing much pain and suffering to your unlucky enemy. Poison pours from your hands as the tentacles appear, coating rivals in a toxic sludge. Eldritch Flash is quite a fun spell to use, as you can shoot a missile of tentacles at its surface and giant limbs will emerge from the ground, poisoning anyone within its path. This spell almost reminds me of a kraken-like creature emerging from the ocean and dragging down its prey. Finally, we have Eldritch Disruption, one of the master spells from this mod. This enchantment really is a disruption because when you cast it, a large poison blast will occur, affecting everyone in a large area. Tentacles will grow out of their bodies and eventually destroy them. A very well-themed mod with very interesting visual effects. The tentacles really do offer something quite different to your average spells and enchantments. And that's going to conclude part one of this huge magic showcase. Stay tuned in the next couple of days for part two, which will be released shortly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.